uh, you know, the disputation model and, and the kind of the method of, of doing theology was very much a team effort that accumulated over generations of theologians working on the same problems in harmony and unity. And this allowed for uh, such precision to, uh, to, to uh, be produced during this time period. So as generations of theologians rise up, whether you start in the earlier a high medieval period, or, or even as you progress along the early modern period, you have the revising of disputations over time. And so you, you have works like the, the, probably the most famous disputation set is the, of course, the Leiden Synopsis Pyrrhoris, uh, published uh, 1620 to 1624, which is the theses that have been honed now over several very technical disputation cycles by various professors of theology and the faculty of Leiden. And here they produce uh, a very, very important early codified statement of reformed theology that has had incredible lasting influence throughout the entire history of reformed theology ever since. In fact, uh, Herman Bobbing, the very first thing he did as an early professor, or and not even a, a professor, an early pastor, was he edited an edition of the synopsis hmm. while he was uh, waiting to become professor of theology. And his work, he pictured as very much an updating of the old style of doing theology that you find there. So you have this great pedigree that's influenced even down to someone like a Bob Inker, who of course has had great influence on us today.